Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Random Legacy Challenge. My name is Christy, and you might notice we are not with Emily and the rest of the family. We are with Kaden. Now, I said I wasn't going to interfere, but I had to just pop in and see if there was any drama between him and his wife. So before we look into this, please hit the like and subscribe leave a comment and let's find out. So he's angry about something. Oh, flirt, flirty spouse. Is he a jealous? Okay. He's not a jealous son, but so she was flirty, but he, I don't think he knows that she cheated on him. Uh, he still has a romance with Matilda and Francisco. And oh, look at that. So she is a heartbreaker and erratic, but open-minded. So maybe she doesn't think she's like doing anything bad, but they're just good friends. And he is hurt. Caden is hurt that he found Christy flirting and getting too, too up close and personal with another. It makes him wonder. Are we together or are we not? Oh. Okay. Well, he looks to be doing, you know, okay. He's very confident, but he's he is smug. And she is still at the club. So I'm going to um bring her here and see. Okay, she's feeling flirty from uh the dj and let's just look at this like they're just good friends their romance is all rad oh yes and it says that she cheated on him oh we did that not pop up in his no so maybe he doesn't know so i'm not going to have them do anything, but I just want to see if there is a oh, reveal relationship problems. Okay. Cause I have a few mods that I have never played around with the cheating aspect. So apologize for flirting with another confess to have cheated with. Okay. And then she can express the su suspicions. Um, and then she can promise not to flirt with others again. I just want to see. Okay. So she's only cheated with one other person. Okay. That's interesting. I just want to check, like, she's not pregnant, is she? Oh my god. She is. Oh, I feel like I probably should have waited and let that be a surprise. But, oh. Kaden, what are you going to do? I mean, there's no way their relationship will last. They have no love. Oh, sorry, notification on my phone. But they have no love. They are good friends. They look they're like best friends. But they don't they don't love each other. Like it's borderline on like kinda of almost hating. I wanted to see if there was anything, any other um I don't think there was any other um, interactions. No, she can blame him for problems. Ooh. Okay, and there's a confess to cheating. I know there is a mod now where you can separate before divorcing. But I'm not sure. I think that one, it's still, you have to, I think it's still the early release. But, okay. And what can he do? He can ask if more flirting happened. You can confront her about flirting, refuse to forgive, and threaten to break up. Oh, wow. Okay, well, these two have some uh, sorting out to do, and I can't believe she's pregnant. And it's not his. And she hasn't even come inside. Like, she, she doesn't want to confront him. Okay. The most I'm going to do is just make her go inside. I'm not going to have them do, force them to do any social. 
Okay, he's just more worried about work. He wants to be promoted. And they work together, too. Okay, there's... They're literally just not interacting. Oh, boy. I... I oh, Kaden, I, I kind of hope you leave her. You deserve better. I mean, you... You had some of your issues as a teen. And, uh... I mean, you are a zombie, but you know that you know, shouldn't uh, cheat. Strong, independent Sim. It's not Caden. It's definitely that Sim who broke Caden's heart for no good reason. Okay, at least you are feeling good about yourself. You know it is not your fault. But, okay. <laughs> I just had to check on that. But let's get back to Emily and Maya and the rest of the family. Okay, we are back. Oh, you are a bit of a wreck, Emily. Let's get some food out. And you need to sleep. Um, yeah, let's get the garlic noodles. Eat. And tomorrow is New Year's Eve, right? Yes. Or I guess right now because it is 2 a.m. But they all had a successful night on the town. Okay, good. You are eating. All right. Maya, grab some food. Mabel, I know you just went to sleep, but get get some food, too. I think they're all going to probably sleep in tomorrow. And I think my plan for New Year's Eve will be um, to invite their friends over. We'll have... They'll do a club gathering. Maybe Felix will invite a couple people over. And Emily, you don't really have any friends. It's like the one thing I'm really bad at is my Sims having friends. I was just thinking after last time. We haven't heard from someone in a while. Oh, Makoa is still alive. How long does he have? Oh, wow. He's at 17 days. Okay. Um, maybe we'll figure out. Well, maybe we'll invite over to Julia. She was all right. But okay, let's get you guys to sleep. The siblings are are having a nice like late dinner, talking about. Maybe they're talking about like Caden and what he's going through. Like, oh, glad that is not us. Oh, and how long does Taco have? Taco has three days. Oh, we're going to lose Taco and Emily at the same time? Oh, no. Well, all right. Everyone's getting off to sleep, and we will join them in the morning. All right. Uh, these guys have slept in pretty late. It's 1030. They all... They're all recovering. Julia actually texted us pretty early in the morning wanting to celebrate. Um, but it's a little bit, just a little bit early. All right, and there's our, oh, our beautiful decorations. Pretty simple. Nothing extravagant. Emily is old. Okay, everyone is waking up. Maybe, Felix, you could cook breakfast for everyone, or I guess it would be brunch. Um, why don't, yeah, you can cook. Why don't we do some hot and sour soup? Because it is cold out. Oh, I hope you're having a good day. Oh, thank you, Kaden. I know it's probably pretty rough for you. Okay, and I think everyone else is all set. And after New Year's, we'll take down the Christmas decorations. Or maybe they can be like me and they get left up until like March. Although I did have Christmas lights that were up for I think two years. I did finally take them down because, you know, half of them didn't work. Oh, and they all need to make their resolutions. Oh, I think Maya's getting advice. Anger management. Sometimes I get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. Only advice Felix has is do a workout. But let's do make a resolution and 
I think he wants to get promoted. It looks like Taco, he wanted... Oh, you want to let him out? But can you pet him first? And then let him out. He needs some attention. Oh. Justice, did you hear about that woohoo scandal that happened at school? Okay. Juicy. Hope it wasn't your sister. Okay, and then you need to make a resolution. So she can't become a better student. She is already an A. I mean... My go-to ones usually raise a skill because that's the easiest. Um, but I think we will do get a significant other. Maybe she can have her first girlfriend. That would be cute. Okay, Emily. Oh, you're gonna go set the table. But what should your resolution be? So we already completed this aspiration. We could just start another one. You know, maybe we'll have her do the knitting. I think I'm going to also have her retire because she's about to die. And I figure she would work probably most of her life and would wait till like the last minute to retire. So we could have her become a knitter. Okay, I went through a bunch of them. I think the knitting one works the best. And, oh, I heard you became good friends with your sister-in-law. She's pretty cool. Um, no, she's not. We don't, we don't, talk, we don't like her. Haven't told Caden. He'll figure it out. He, he already has suspicions. So, I think we will do, I don't think Emily's gonna, like, actually complete a milestone but she's going to not be here in seven days anyways now mabel let's get you up it is noon girl i know you are a teenager but what resolution for you oh and she is already fit hmm no, maybe we'll do the significant other for her as well. Oh, and let's actually have Emily retire right now. You did some good work, mastered one career, did well in another. We are proud of you. All right, and she is officially retired. Oh, Jalen, want to make plans? Ah, uh, no. I feel like that maybe or maybe not had. Oh, Kaden. Maybe it was maybe or maybe not be flirty. But why don't we... Oh, what's wrong, Taco? I don't know why you're stressed. Okay, Cat is fine now. Just had to come outside and scream, which I think we can all relate to. Oh, no. Okay, we're just replacing that, not risking anyone getting electrocuted. I kind of wish there was a way to ask me, like, how's your relationship? Kind of heard things are not going great. All right, Emily, you're going to have a deep personal conversation with Kaden. I know he's doing pretty well, but I bet he would appreciate it. Oh, and I heard a knock. Oh, I mean, Emily doesn't know, and she doesn't want to be rude, so I think we're going to invite her in. Um, okay. Then I think we will start a gathering, but Felix should invite someone over. So, uh, he was good friends with Tori, so I'll invite Tori over. And I think that's like one of the only people. Oh, there's Darian. Oh, I think we're gonna leave Matilda alone. She's married now. So we'll invite Darian over as well. 
And then start a... Oh, not that... Well, that gathering too. Um, oh, and we can add another person. Someone age up? I guess so. Oh, it was Jalen, maybe. No? I don't know. Okay. Well, we have four girls and one boy, but... Oh, she looks cute. Oh, and Josiah's who Mabel apparently wants to get engaged to. I think we will not invite him over. So, no, let's do Gabriella because she has cool hair. Oh, where are you going, Justice? Who's out Iara. here? Iara. Okay, there's just a bunch of adults. It's kind of like a secret meeting. I don't know. Okay, Kaden, he's like, my wife is stressing me out, so why don't you clean the sink? Oh, Maya, you're the one that, like, caught her, and you're telling her a funny story? So Kaden is ignoring his marital problems through video games. That, yeah, I can see that. And Taco's off. It's like, I, I can't be around this many people, there's so much drama. I need an adventure. Oh, and they're sharing photos. What do you think of her? Who is this? This is Britta. Oh, you don't have any opinion. I mean, I haven't said that. No, she dislikes. It, has, it says dislikes men, so I might change. I might add and create a that she likes women. Yeah, so that it hopefully then will give her um the preferences whether she finds them attractive or not okay so there we added she dislikes men and <laughs> likes <Laura>. women <laughs> and so hopefully it will give us uh what she thinks about them okay so everyone's like all gathered around um, why don't you Okay, don't go up there and play the gaming mat. How about blow some horns with Britta? Oh, and Emily has finally reached parenting level 8. It's kind of taken her a while. Normally my sims will max that out pretty quickly. Okay, so they're not really doing anything. Why don't we turn on some music? Let's do... No, let's do some S-pop. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, and Felix is sick. Let's get him some meds. You don't want to be sick. And uh, book singles relationship coaching. Oh, I don't know. Where did you get a drink? Oh, and... Wait, where are the people that you... Did you invite people over like I told you to? I don't think you did. Um, no, you didn't. Okay. Oh, wait, did I not order your medicine? I got distracted. I got distracted by the book singles relationship coaching. Okay, Tori's coming over now. Okay, here she is. Let's go invite... Her and why don't you discuss interests with Tori? So curious where that drink came from. Don't have a bar. Oh, Yusuf is inviting Emily to the romance festival. Oh, that's kind of cute, but no. It's New Year's Eve. We have people over. Oh, and she was going to invite over Julia. That's right. Oh, are they mending their differences? She just gave him a kiss on the cheek and he wasn't even mad. Hmm. Alright, and she's off like, I need to play some video games. How about you take a shower, actually? It's so early, it's only 6.30. Oh, Emily here. Invite your... Go talk to your friend. Uh, why don't you brighten her day? Oh, Julia does not like this desk. She does not like our decor. Mm. 
And Felix, what do you think about Tori? I mean, she is single. Oh, you think she is attractive. Okay. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get rid of these presents because they keep just wanting to open presents. And I'm sure they're all prank gifts by now. You know, Emily, maybe we should make some food to serve. How about we make some baked chocolate mousse? There we go. We need some uh, little appetizer snacks. Oh, Maya. Um, Father Winter, who is not the typical Father Winter that we usually see. Um, that one is actually in the... Um, you do like manage households, not in this world. He's there. So this guy, maybe he might be an imposter. I don't know. Or, or you know, they got a lot of households to get to, so he fills in. But no, you can't come celebrate. I'm sorry. Oh, and Tiana, she is back to her typical. She had the a uh, little blob for the birth certificates, which was her favorite thing to do: was walk around and look at birth certificates. In portraits. Oh my gosh, she's showing now. Look at that. I wish there was a, a social be like, who's the who's the father? But no, I can't do that. Okay, we got some chocolate mousse for anyone that wants it. Oh, Taco is running around the neighborhood, and they all came out to watch the snow. I don't know why they all came outside. I mean, it's not the first snow. It's been snowing quite a bit. Okay, maybe you guys um, don't live where it snows. You look kind of like you may have had, um, may have pre-gamed a little bit before you came. Yeah. Yeah, same with you. Whoa. You guys all have like this dazed look on your face. Oh Maya, I know you love video games, but you gotta here come watch. Uh yeah, let's all just watch together. Looks like they most of them are watching New Year's Eve TV. I like how Caden is just like dancing, vibing with the fireplace. And there is a creepy sim here. Is Matilda here? Is there another creepy sim? Oh, Justice, what are you doing? Why are you so angry? What did the cat do to you? It seems like half the guests we invite over just end up beating up on this cat. Poor guy. I've been checking every once in a while, make sure nobody is uh, woohooing in the closet. All right, so it's almost time for the New Year's countdown. And Taco's like, it's cold out there. I just want to sleep right here. Oh, jeez. Oh, are you sick? No. Oh. Well, okay, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. <laughs> of course, the cat has to get sick. <laughs> All right, like when is New Year's? All right, it's almost time. Like <laughs> Felix is the only one that does something different. Yay, New Year's! Oh, he's hugging his sister. Oh, okay, Taco's apparently fine now. Oh, Maya, Maya and Mabel. Oh, And they are best friends. Okay, so I think that was a successful party. Don't know what's going on with Caden and his wife. I think they've kind of mended things. 
He's like, well, there's a baby. I can't really fault. Like, I can't take it out on the baby. I still hope they get divorced. <laughs> okay, I think it is time to end the gatherings. They had a good time. Oh, we got a lot of perks. Um, we don't have anyone else to add to the family yet, but we will. And then we can add just basically everyone else who comes along. No, okay, I'm not going to add any any other club perks right now. What do they? Okay, but we will add another member for the Dancing Gamers. And who should they add? Okay, we'll add a boy this time because it's basically all girls and Venkat. But there are not a lot of boys in here. Now, let's do Chris Roca. He looks the most normal out of them. And we need some food for these people. Okay, someone's going into the fridge. I can't take anything out. All right, I'm just going to try to fix their needs a little bit. Yeah, no, you can pee yourself. You should actually leave. Like, weren't you leaving? Everyone else left. And Britta is just up here okay and that that's cool i guess okay now i think everyone has left so yeah a successful new year's eve and then i think everyone should get to bed okay yes everyone had a good time Okay, and I'm going to take down the decorations. This one, the tree is kind of just like getting in the way. Okay, move the yoga mat back to where it was. All right, and everyone is getting ready for bed. All right, Emily, let's just check. Oh, two days, I oh, don't know. And Taco is, like, kind of just following her. Oh, no, there's a puddle. He wants to drink out of the puddle. Okay. Thought maybe he loved her for a second. Oh, Maya's going through a phase. She's rebellious. Oh, no. Well, okay, where did you get clay from? I do not like... Do so you want to mold clay? Where is this clay? I do not like the clay. Oh, there it is getting rid of that. No. There we go. Because they will, that's all they'll do is just mold clay. Nope. Go back to sleep. It's almost five in the morning. You know, she's feeling rebellious now. She might want to, it might be a little bit sooner than I thought because Emily's still around. But Felix is awake. Why don't you work on your debating? Because you want, you want to get promoted. Okay, Mabel, why don't you make some food for yourself? Or no, cook for everyone. Do eggs and toast. Oh, and Mabel likes research and debate? I guess she was feeling inspired watching him. Okay. And Maya wants to send a text. I wish we got, like, whether you found, like, Britta attractive or any of them. But maybe let's send someone a text. I'm going to do it through Slice of Life because you get a few more options. All right, send some happy emojis to who? Like, I'm kind of going back and forth between Britta and Justice. I don't know which one. She has a higher friendship with Justice. But she was, no, she was one punching the cat. So I think we need to be a little leery about that. Oh, but who's Bailey Roca? She's got some cool hair. I like her. 
So let's send some happy emojis to Britta. And then let's also text this Bailey. Here, why don't you send a viral meme to Bailey Roca? Okay, she hasn't gotten any text back. It is not even 8 in the morning on a Sunday, day after New Year's. And she's already halfway through dancing at level 3. And her video game, she's about halfway through level 3 as well. I'm not going to worry about it too much while she's a teen because they are pretty easy to achieve. I you know, what, Emily, since you are kind of getting on in years, I might have you go for a visit to the cemetery. We haven't gone and visited Yusuf since we buried him, and that's where you will be. So I think we're going to do a little private trip with Emily. Oh, and Felix is level two. He can get promoted. Okay, let's go. Where did we put Yusuf? Over here. Oh, let's... You know, I think we will mourn Yusuf and then release his spirit to the netherworld. He shouldn't be trapped here. Oh, she had called Tiana. That's cute. Like, you will be right next to him pretty soon. And I kind of figured, you know, when we play through the generations, we will probably come across some urns and tombstones randomly. We might just collect them and bring them to the cemetery. And you just probably like, it took you this long to come visit? You had to wait until you're nearly on your deathbed? Releasing Yusuf's soul to the netherworld will forever free his spirit from this mortal realm. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. We've kind of ignored you as a ghost because it's a little weird, but you can be at peace now. Oh, and she's going to immediately put on a face mask. Okay. Oh, and butterflies now. Oh, all right, let's go back home. You got to say one last goodbye to your husband. And the butterflies, yes, he has been released. Oh, and Tiana has greeted us. And Taco's doing a big stretch. Why don't you, uh, okay, no, he's going inside. You want to flaunt your knowledge to Mabel, okay. But I think this is a good place to leave off. I've done everything that I had planned for this episode. We had a good New Year's. We got to see a little bit of the drama between Caden and Kirsty, And we'll see what happens with that. Because it looks like they are starting to mend their relationship. And I might peek in on them again um, in a couple episodes. Just see how it develops. And she's going to be having a baby who knows if Caden's going to accept the baby and take care of it, or if he doesn't want anything to do with raising um, her love affair child. But yeah, Maya got to spend some time with some friends. Oh, and Jovan. Okay. Oh, Emily, Mabel, do you enjoy spending time with me? No, no, I don't actually. Okay, so I guess Mabel's not in the wall. Um, but yeah, so next episode they'll be back in school and it will probably be Emily's last episode. Our original Sim for Generation 1 will, will no longer be here. But we'll see what they get into at school. Maya is feeling rebellious. Okay, and you can go watch a funny video. She is feeling rebellious, so we'll see what she gets up to. We'll probably buy a bar as well next episode. So she can work on that mixology and maybe get up into a little bit of trouble. Who knows? But thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you give this a like and a thumbs up. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!